Now, the really cool thing about the falloff system is the fact that it's not really tied to a specific geometry, vertex order, or anything like that. But with the fall of eval node, we can actually extract out per vertex data as we've done with the skin cluster, for example. So what I've got here is I've got a plane. And for each of the vertices on this plane, um, I've got a cube. And you can see here, basically, there's nothing fancy with these. Um, they're just positioned on each of the vertices. I've kind of scaled them down a bit. And what we want to do is we want to drive the kind of scale Y of the system. So what we can do here is that we can use this plane and we can use our kind of primitive fall off here to get out per vertex values that we can then use to kind of drive our scale here. So to do that, it's pretty simple. All we have to do is we have to add in our plane shape, our primitive fall off, and we have to say fall off eval. And we just have to go here, we add in the, we add in the mesh to the geometries. We add in the weight function. And I'm just going to take like one, like two of these. And when we now go here on per vertex weights and see that we now have these kind of weights coming out here and we can connect those into oh, the scale Y here. And if I'll go here, do the next one, go scale Y. So you can see that these actually now get a weight value of zero. And that's because our kind of, um, our primitive isn't on them. But if we now start to move over here, voila, we can see that they're now scaling up based off the values that we have here. Now, if you don't want them to move like all the way down to zero, you can just go and kind of increase the kind of starting value here, just so that they, they're like a tiny bit off the surface here. And now you can see they're kind of going in and out here. So just to kind of connect up all of these here, um, I've just got like a little kind of uh, Python uh, snippet here. Uh, it's just super hacky. I know that there's 675 vertices um, or uh, yeah, on this here. So I'm just looping through, connecting in the fall of Eva per vertex weight, pushing in that integer there and getting out the per vertex fall of weight here. And then just pushing that into the cube uh, integer plus one because my cube started at zero. The start at, um, sorry, my cube started at one, the weight started at zero and then just kind of connecting that in. So if I go here now, and boom. So let me just go and turn on a bit of pretty lighting here. So you can now see that we have these things happening here as well. And yeah, it, and it gives you some really kind of nice flowy behavior here. And you can see here, basically I've, I've kind of cranked up the, the volume of these as well. So you could probably do something like the value for this could match, for instance, like the scale of your, or like the scale half probably of your, your kind of input here or something just to kind of make sure that those matching because then you get like this kind of fake like collision setup almost. So that's basically how you can just do a setup like this, which pushing out these values. And because it's this kind of the, the fall off system here, we can very easily go in and we can just add in you know, another, you know, if we wanted to always raise these values up, we don't have to do that just by here. We can, we can still keep this at zero. And, oh, um, and then if I do a uniform uh, fall off, we can go and we can basically just kind of, oh, oh, sorry, that was the wrong one. Uh, Um, yeah, let me get that off. Sorry, I wanted to do a blend fall off. Sorry, a bit of a brain fart. So what we can do is we can combine these so you can get this weight function. We can add in this weight function and then we can just say base weight is 
let's just say zero. We add this in, we can add this as well. When we do this, we now have the option to basically offset this whole kind of setup. Now, there does seem to be a bit of like issues sometimes when you get into like weird values with this kind of setup. You can see now it's, um, it's kind of lagging behind and it's kind of getting very slow. And I've noticed the same if, let's just set this to 0.5. If you start to use uh, multiply in here as well, you can see now it's very slow, laggy. So I believe there's, as soon as you use kind of fall off eval and the blend fall off, it seems to be a bit dodgy. So just a heads up on that. Um, adding is still super fast though. It's just really fun to play with this. <laughs> cool. Thanks.